Hello and welcome back to Mainstream Reviews. Today I'm going to be talking about Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris. Now, um, this film, I can honestly say, drags it on a bit longer than it should. It's got a very forgettable pace and really gets slow apart, but the key story and just character study of just one person is brilliant. And that might be where it falls victim to it being a novel adaptation where the character work on one particular person is so well flushed out, but the overall pacing and the story and the events and how the entire plot is handled in a really slow and sluggish manner, that is probably what happened when they tried to adapt this novel to a film. They didn't know what to leave out and what to include. And in the end, it all becomes a really a very drawn out, almost messy, sort of um, massive cauldron pot of ideas from the novel. And I haven't read it myself, so I don't know which ideas would be original, because sometimes they always add an original spin to these um, novel adaptations. But it went on a bit too long, and I can honestly say that it has its flaws for that. Although Mrs. Harris's character development is really well flushed out and is, it was just a really sweet film, but it's definitely something to consider if in boredom. And that's not always what a film wants to be, but that is something that if you were to get it on digital, that would be a good film for streaming. So, yeah, I'm not sure if that's the kind of reputation it wants to have, but it could have been more than it was. So it was a, a bit under, underdeveloped, as my problem statement it would probably be. So that is my short brief review of Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris. And um, next time I'll be covering the final film of September, Smile. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.